Hello everybody, this is Exa and welcome back to another episode of Indie Showcase. This time we're taking a look at Cube Tracker by Ludachip, which is a, a two-man developer team. I'm not sure where they're from, but they did end up winning a uh, award in the in, in, in Indie Game Festival or competition in China. So they may be somewhere um, located somewhere near Shanghai because that's where the competition was hosted. But either way, this is a very interesting action slash strategy slash tower offense game, which has some charming pixel art here, as you can see on the screen right now. And um, there is also like a, a bit of cheeky dialogue in the game here. And so let's get right into it. Here we see the kind of map where we can look at all the. Uh, missions. This is a very bite-sized kind of game, so like each mission lasts around, uh, let's say, less than five minutes. I've never gone through a mission that took less than, I mean, more than five minutes. For speed running, a lot of these you can get under two minutes, just like just a bit over one minute. I know um, the first mission, I think, um, to get the master level, I it took around a minute to get through so let's just get right into it to show you the game a little bit so um, in this this game we are Android this guy in the bottom here and we have the ability to pull cubes um, and as such we are a cube tractor and basically our goal here is to gather as many of these battery things as possible and then um, move to the next beacon and usually that involves defeating all of the enemies on the map um, on screen it shows the keyboard controls but i am actually playing this on the xbox 360 controller and yeah it is completely compatible you don't have to set anything up it just works straight off the bat so, the game is kind of um, split into these little um, tutorial missions and then there are these exam missions. Right now I'm doing an exam, the first exam, which uh, is basically a little harder mission. Uh, so when we first see the tutorial, it's usually very, very simple, just some pretty basic um, like push blocks into water or like mix blocks to make towers for now all you've seen is me pulling the blocks but eventually as we get into the next mission we'll be able to um, actually combine blocks to get um, towers which is really the meat of the game um, I did say it's a tower offense game after all so wouldn't make sense if there weren't actually any towers on my side. Right now it just looks like I'm sieging their towers, which is a large portion of the game, but a lot of the um, interesting aspects of this game are due to your ability to um, fuse these towers and uh, or these blocks to make towers, different variety of towers. Right now you only see these uh, little like claw mark or like nails blocks, but I, I had a pretty good time um, on that even though I didn't really um, try that hard, but um, that's because I have actually done, through, done this mission before and I kind of understand generally the mechanics of the game, but it does get a lot more difficult as you go on. But as you can see, I didn't collect all the batteries. Uh, I did get through pretty fast though, and I didn't take any damage, so I'm gonna get a silver for this. I did actually manage to get the master, um, <coughs> the master rank for this one. So, as you can see in the upper left, there is a star, like a collectible system. So each tutorial or um or side quest that you do gets you a star. And then in the examinations, you can get up to four stars based on how fast you do them. But as you can see, when, when you look through them, the times um, that required to get gold and master are just ridiculously different. You have to 
pretty much play it perfectly uh, in order to get the master. So for now, let's just go into a tutorial to show you a little bit of how that works. Yeah, there's some cheeky humor here, but basically <clears throat> what we learn here is that we can actually combine cubes by pushing them together and we'll create these turrets here and they will shoot any enemies in line of sight. I do, th if I'm, if I recall correctly, they do actually have infinite range. I'm not completely sure though. Um, and these are the most basic structures at at the moment, and then you can also uh, remove them when you're done. Yeah, so as you can see, the tutorials are very, very quick and easy, and they basically just introduce you to the mechanics, and then after that, you are just allowed to experiment with them yourself. Let's get into a side mission a bit farther up. So here we have unlocked the turrets, support blocks, the wall, basically walls, and um, yeah, that's about it for now. Let's get right into it. So we, the kind of plot in this game is that you are a student in this like cube tracting academy or something, and these are kind of your professors, and thus the story missions are called examinations, which is pretty interesting, I think. Um, just, uh, just as a concept. Ow, got hit there. It's not too big of a deal, though. Not really going for a um, damage-free run, so it doesn't matter too much. Ow. Though I guess it's still not a very good idea to take so much damage. Ow. Yeah, there are these um, repair wrenches that you can use to heal. Ow! Okay, that was pretty stupid. I kind of just ran into that one. But anyway, as usual, the goal is to destroy all of the enemy structures and um, units. Playing a little bit poorly this time, but it's not too big of a deal. And for the most part, the fastest way to kill a lot of them is to just smash them with blocks. But you will eventually want to use more turrets because, uh... It's more efficient to do that when you don't always have blocks available to use. You can also use some of these, uh... Ow. You can also use, uh... Moving blocks to block projectiles, which is pretty interesting. I really like that concept. Um... Uh, being able to... Block with... Um... Stuff that's in the air makes... Adds just a, a little... Complexity to it. This is annoying. Didn't expect to get hit there. Alright, so there is a lot of like timing involved, so I want to make sure that the um, towers land behind the uh, shield right here. Ow. I actually died that time, but it's not too big of a deal. Um, even in the um, multi part examinations, you only get uh, pushed back to the uh, beginning of your current mission, so it's not too big of a deal even if you do end up uh, dying once or twice. Uh, it does, it actually, I think it kind of just completely resets your um, sc score if you die, so it's not too big of a deal. This is kind of like a Super Meat Boy style of like deaths where um, deaths don't really matter, but the game is just brutally difficult, so you kind of have to um, 
just die a lot and move on, continue um, just trying your best to find the best strategy in order to beat the game. Actually, I think I'm supposed to do them separately here, so that the uh, other side, like the turret on the other side doesn't see us. So let's try that. This might actually be a bit too far in this time. So let's try this. This should keep him... Yep. Yeah, I don't believe that the turret on the other side can hit us here. So... Let's just get through this mission here. And as you can see, it does take some... I mean, it is a strategy game. Um, and you do have to... Just, like, time and um, decide where you want to place these uh, turrets and the barriers in order to get the maximum effect from them. So... It is... It's pretty cool. I mean, I'm having a pretty good time playing this. It just came out on uh, May 29th, I believe. So, approximately a week ago. Um, and it's pretty fun. I mean, there aren't very many games in this genre. Like, there is... There are similar genres, like, like tower defense and like tower offense, kind of like Anomaly, where you play the... Um, minions going into the towers, but I don't think I've seen a game like this before where you um, fight fire with fire, so to speak. So let's move on into a uh, harder mission. Uh, do we want to find one with supports? Alright, let's do this. I don't think I did very well when I tried this the first time, but it's not too big of a deal. We got some time fourth exam here, and it looks like we want to take out the guy on the top right first, so let's do that. In this mission, we are introduced to a new unit called the uh, power plant, which basically doubles the speed at which our towers fire. As you can see, the tower I placed here is firing a lot faster than normally, even just compared to the enemy tower. Alright, so let's take care of that and then move to the next one. As you can see, the power plant actually supplies um, an increased attack to an area around them, so any turrets that are in this area will get the effect, which is pretty cool. It looks like we'll make short work of this mission here. Let's move on to the next stage. Um, all of the exams, as far as I know, are made out of three stages, so you have to gather as many, um, or just complete each stage separately, but it kind of, like, your batteries and the, whether or not you took damage carries through to the next stage, but they're basically like checkpoints. Oh, actually, this one only has two um, parts, so it does tell you in the beginning of the mission, though, so it's not too big of a deal. That's kind of poorly placed, so I'm going to redo that one. Ow! That was pretty stupid. Not too big of an issue, though. Damn it! Okay, let's, let's just do it, like, head-on, so we don't miss. There we go. Alright. And... There we go. Alright.
Okay, moving on to the next area. So, right now I can see that um, I probably need to take out some of these guys down here first. Maybe take out the power plant first, because it seems to be getting in our way here. So, let's take that out with a turret. Uh, take out those pesky little critters. And I can also... Oh! Ow! Didn't even see that. Um, they're also... Um, they also give me the ability to take out these turrets with the blocks behind them, which leaves just one remaining. And I think that means that I will have to build up some blocks here. Oh wait, no, never mind. I need... A shield, I think. And then... There we go. Okay, and maybe... Actually, I might want to... Get this. Okay, so that I can take this out and make that into a power plant, which should allow my turret to make short work of the rest of those guys. Meanwhile, I'm gonna grab the rest of the uh, batteries here. Alright, cool. And that's the end of this mission. For now, I've only unlocked the um, combinations of turrets that you've seen so far, but I'm sure that there are a bunch more. In fact, they do actually tell you how many there are, unless there's like a hidden, um, hidden slots or anything. But like as you can see, there are three cube types, three types of turrets, three types of support structures, and. Um, two enemies. Although, I'm guessing there are probably more than two types of enemies because uh, I doubt that since I'm only 28 out of 88 stars in, I'm pretty sure there are going to be more. Although it looks like, yeah, these are only um, the creatures that move around. So I'm guessing they're not going to include the towers, the enemy towers in that um, aspect. But this has been Cube Tractor. If you're interested, I will leave a link to the Steam page in the description below. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.